Okay. What are the two mentoring styles? Now, I'm broadly speaking, two two mentoring styles. On the one hand, there is directive. On the other side, there is non-directive. So, a lot of traditional mentoring is non-directive, and, and the mentor will sit down and they will ask you questions. It's very much like business therapy, um, where the, the mentor knows that their views aren't that important, that they are there to help you on a journey of discovery, of understanding, to help you figure out what you need to do at any particular time for, for the problems that you're solving. Um, my uh, former MBA course, uh, they, they have non-directive mentors on that. If you go to any therapist, yeah, you, you get that. And this is really, really good. Um, it's great uh, where you need the time and the space to to figure things out and, and to try and get a, a solution that works. And it uh, it's a really good way of growing, um, becoming a, a better because you're stretching your mental muscles, uh, figuring things out for yourself with a, a few little nudges along, along the way. Directive mentorship. Um, is where the, the mentor sort of takes a bit more of an active role and is pushing you in particular directions. There's still an awful lot of questioning, uh, but the mentor then says at some point, well, uh, I think you've got two to three options and based on the data that you've given me, A, is going to work better for you because you've got to do this, this and this. Um, now, I'm high energy um, and I do directive mentorship, mentoring. Why do I do that? I've gone through non-directive mentoring training um, with a number of organizations and sitting back, it doesn't work for startups because there are multiple problems uh, and directed, uh, non-directive mentoring doesn't solve them for startups. The key problem is, is that in a normal business situation, most business people know the processes that they are playing with. In an entrepreneurial situation, uh, the entrepreneur, the founder, rarely actually particularly understands the entrepreneurial process, how things have to work. And this is a very different type of management, typically, than anything that they've ever done. So we've got the understanding of the product, and building the product and then we've got the entrepreneurial process and then we've got normal business rules and so the, what often needs to happen is that when we're doing mentoring it's helping the entrepreneur understand the problem and then saying these are the particular rules of entrepreneurship that apply in this situation how do we then apply those rules to your problem and with experience, um, we can relatively quickly say, bang, bang, bang. These are the rules. This is the, the big outline that you, you need to use to be applying them to your problem. Go away and apply them in this situation. So using a uh, physics example, um, let's let's talk about apples and, and, and trees. So I imagine I'm sitting in, a, in an orchard. I've got a little apple tree out or a couple apple trees out in the garden and I'm sitting there happily reading a, a book ignoring the, ignoring the ants that are crawling all over me and bonk an apple falls out of the tree um, on, onto my head uh my mentor might say oh where did that apple come from Ooh, it was on a branch why did it fall down um I take you through a whole process of trying to help you understand that. The problem being is that if you're just an avid book reader, you've got no idea about gravity and what's it. And in reality, the apples are falling really quite quickly. Some of them are hurt. And you've also got to pick up the apples and uh, do some, and process them into cider uh, for example, a bit of a Bristol accent there, need to uh, process them and do something else with them quickly. So you don't have time for the long philosophical debates of where the apple comes from. So we identify that there is a gravitational problem affecting the, the apples, which is why they're falling. And then it's like, OK, how do we make a net to catch them? 
And this is very much the, uh, and then we talk about the different types of nets, different heat propensions, contraptions that we can apply to make you an effective apple catching machine at an early stage in your startup prior to you then sort of making a much more industrialized process later on as you make something <coughs> a lot more effective. So this is really the difference between directive and non-directive. There's too much to do. You've got to do it too quickly. The time pressures are there. And so we go in fairly fast, fairly hard to get you rough solutions faster than we'd be able to get them. Because otherwise we'd be talking, I mean, oh, therapy, five sessions a week, man. <laughs> But your business is even more fascinating. There is even more detail. So by condensing it, collating it, clarifying, focusing onto what are the key things that you need to go out and do, they're not 100% right. But the probability is that these directives are going to be righter for you than anything else that you're able to come up with in the limited amount of time that you can spend thinking about what do you do next yeah and time is your biggest enemy mentoring session 300 pounds an hour but it's better than spending 10,000 quid a month going in the wrong direction yeah and this is what mentoring does we cut through the crap we get you pointing in the direction that you need to travel to hit your goals, to hit them fast enough so that you get the traction so that you become attractive to investors and raise the next round. This is the goal of mentoring. It's expensive, but it is cheap. It is so cheap compared to the costs that you are going to incur if you don't do it. So that is the difference between non-directive, cushy, friendly, cuddly mentoring that takes a long time to deliver results somewhere over there. And directive mentoring, which is take it, understand the problem, figure out what you need to do, give you the tools to get out there and get shit done. Okay, I'm Dennis Oakley. Sign up for mentoring with me and change your business.